Go ahead. Hi. Um, yeah. During your speech, you made a lot of references to Jewish people as well as certain people in your audience, not Jewish people in general, but certain people, especially in your audience, to Nazis. Now, that is extremely offensive when certain people are German. And they're also extremely offensive to people who have actually suffered under Nazi rule. I don't respect that anymore. I really don't. I don't like and I don't respect the crocodile tears to, con to the crocodile tears. No. Uh, I'm so, folks, uh, allow me to finish. And allow me to, allow me to finish. Listen, sir. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Uh, sir, sir, I don't like to play. I don't like to play the foreign audience, the Holocaust card. But since now I feel, com now I feel compelled to, my late father was in Auschwitz. My late mother, please shut up. My late father was in Auschwitz. My late mother was in my Donna concentration camp. Every single member of my family, on my father's side, on my father's side, the Jews did not take arms against the my Germans. My late father was in Auschwitz concentration camp. My late mother was in Maidan concentration camp. Every single member of my family on both sides was exterminated. Both of my parents were in the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. And it's it precisely and exactly because of the lessons my parents taught me and my two siblings that I will not be silent when Israel commits its crimes against the Palestinians. And I consider nothing more despicable than to use their suffering and their martyrdom to try to justify the torture the brutalization, the dem demolition of homes that Israel daily commits against the Palestinians. So I refuse any longer to be intimidated or browbeaten by the tears. If you had any heart in you, you would be crying for the Palestinians, not for what's